Hey everyone, it's Dina. So I haven't recorded a video in a while and I had a request in the group to do something and I thought it was a perfect opportunity to show you some tools that are available in the designer edition or higher that can help you with slicing an image in half or slicing your text in half. For example, if you want a two color name to put on a shirt um, or something of that nature. So what you see here um, on the screen is just a name that I've typed out. It's in the impact font just so that it's easy to see. You can use any font that you like. And what I want to say or preface is that um, some of these tools are only available in the designer edition or higher of the software. So if you haven't upgraded yet, this is a good reason to do that. Um, I really like these tools and I use them quite often. In the upper left hand corner under the view menu, make sure that you have show rulers, show guides, and snap to guides selected or set to on. And you'll see why in just a moment. So when you have the rulers and guides selected or showing, you can see that you have the rulers along the top and then on the side of the screens here. And what you can do is click and drag on the ruler a line or a guideline down onto your workspace. And what this will do is give you the ability to snap that into the middle point or the center point of that line. So you can see when I click and hold on the text, that line color changes. So that lets me know that that is that middle point of that design or text. Now, if I wanna slice this in half, I'm going to use the knife tool which is on the left toolbar, second icon from the bottom. And on the quick access toolbar, I wanna to make sure I remove the check from auto reply, auto apply, not reply. And there's, again, a reason for that. And um, over on the right hand toolbar, we want to activate the line style icon, which is fourth from the top. So when I slice this, I, if I use the default settings, then it can potentially leave a gap in the design where they may not meet up completely. And I wanna reduce that gap as much as I possibly can. So that's why you want that um, line style panel. So when you get ready to slice this, you're going to place your cursor, which is now the knife icon. And it's a little tiny, but you can see that it's changed from the hand to the knife. And you want to press and hold the shift key and then drag your line across that guideline. And you can see that I've drawn a line across here. And the reason we remove the check for auto apply is we don't want to cut that in half right away. Because now if you look over here in the panel for text, excuse me, line style, it has a 1.42 point thickness automatically assigned to that and I want to change that to the lowest that I can possibly get which is 0 0.01. Now I want to move up to my quick access toolbar and click apply and that's going to slice that text in half. So now I can come over to the left toolbar and I can either click select which is the arrow icon or press escape on my keyboard and that brings me back to my normal cursor I can move the line out of the way or just press delete on your keyboard to remove that. You don't need it anymore at this point. And now you can see that it has been sliced in half. Now at this point, if you wanted to give it a se separate color, you could do that. It's all up to you on what you want to do next. I would recommend a grouping of the letters if you're going to move them around. It just makes it a little bit easier. I'm using a right click action, but you can highlight them and use the keyboard shortcut of Control G as in group or Command G if you're a Mac user. So it's really all up to you and what you want to do next. When you get ready to cut, You'll go to the send menu. You can see 
that my lines are now set for cutting. I would pick whatever material type, whatever action I want to do, make sure that my blade is selected appropriately, and then place your material on the mat, send it to the machine, cut it out, and go from there. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and have a great day.